Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Senor Mokolover, and we shall continue playing as a Democratic United States and a Hearts of Iron for Democracy Edition Run, getting rid of uh, Axis influence in the world, and we are doing a pretty gosh darn good time of it. So at this point, very much of Asia has been liberated from the evils of the Axis. Now, they still have a couple enclaves in the north and Siberia, but we are approaching the Urals at a very quick rate. Is this an encirclement or something? No? Alright. Wow, you guys are green? Well, you guys must have lost a lot of equipment and men. But, regardless, the Axis still holds quite a bit of territory, especially in Turkey, Syria, and... Uh, I think this is Jordan? Modern, yeah, modern day Jordan, yeah. So yeah, I know my geography a little bit. And of course... The I word, or I guess in this case, it's the P word. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's allowed on YouTube. Anything referring to things that rhyme with booze. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, so basically the way we're going to get down there is by going through Siberia, which we're doing a very, very good job at. As we are blowing up ships, taking casualties, you know, all that good stuff. Alright, so last time, we were also beginning to take out India from... Two sides, not just one, not from the north, but now from the north, the west, and the east. Where the hell are you guys? Which group are you? Oh, you're, you're this group. Oh, uh, that's not bad. If we engage now, we might have a chance of doing well. Over here, we're doing okay-ish. We have tanks coming down and around, which is which is very very good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a little bit of more radar. Infrastructure needs. Hmm, it's not bad. Five out of ten isn't. Terrible. This is terrible. One out of ten. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord. Oh, the Japanese are trying to attack 15 divisions over here. Well, I don't think that's really going to work out very well for them. Oh, that being said, I did forget. We have guys here doing Burmese stuff. Bay of Bengal. Uh, I will let these guys continue doing the Bay of Bengal, but these bombers? Yeah, something tells me we've killed every single Axis member in that area. So, y'all will come here and do Eastern India. Uh, y'all can split up as well. That's fine and dandy. Ooh, baby, what else do we need? Let's see. Infantry with 25 out of 24 over here. Could you use... Well, first of all, split you guys up. Maybe a few bombers. Oh, maybe some close air support, which you will definitely not be able to reach. Coming from that part of what is more Muslim territory. Oh, wait, these are naval bombers. No, these are close air support. Yeah, there it is. Uh, more Muslim held territory of what was the former British Raj, but now the German Raj, which is about to be the American Raj. Oh, we will liberate everyone from each other. Except from ourselves. Let's see, y'all come here. Very nice. And, okay, so I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, the Germans, I guess, have mounted another defense around here. You guys, don't be so crazy. Be be a little crazy, but not... Be, but be balanced in your craziness. Eisenhower, though, you just be one hell of a nut, and you just keep doing you. Yeah. You don't really get upgrades, do you? Alright. So be it. You're coming over here. That's nice. Ships are doing great jobs. German convoys. German and Italian convoys. Tanks, you're doing nothing. Well, we can't have that here now, can we? Yeah, just move on in. It's like it's free real estate, you know, at this point. All yeah, right. Oh my goodness, a couple German convoys, and you may be thinking, why am I sinking German convoys or you know attacking Axis ships over here? Well, that's because the French have this little t piece of territory which is currently owned by the Germans, Saint Pierre and something. All right then. Uh, we could invade this area. I suppose I could. I'll send you two to come from, oh, over here. Eh, don't come from over there. That'd be a little wasted. You Y'all come from here. Yes, I used to live in the south. And y'all go to St. Pierre and. Yes, that's its name. St. Pierre and Chinese divisions. Yes. Ah, uh, China boys. I know how to use them. Right? That sounds really weird. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Combo lost, state of Japan, doing a very fine job. Still 19 divisions. Last time when we left off, there was only there were 20, but now there are 19. Very cool. Oh, if you hover over him, he gets lit up. 
Not like, you know, gunned down, but he gets lit up. Cool, very nice. Why am I talking like this now? Oh no. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Iran, you're looking great. I wish I could go to war with you or add you to the Allies. But you really don't like us very much. You know what? Let's improve relations, because... Why not? We could use another ally. The UK didn't try to sway you to join anybody. Oh, economy of the North Carolinians. Yeah. Oh, oh, we need a civilian factory in there. Oh, well, I'm glad I only put one in there. So yeah, go make that civilian factory. That'd be great. If you are running out of ideas, go ahead and make some more nuclear dockyards. Wait. Oh my god, nuclear dockyards. No, no, no. Nuclear reactors. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so awesome if you had nuclear dockyards. That'd be. How would that even look? That'd be so cool. Um, any landlocked provinces? No, 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 no. Okay, then. Virginia. Nothing says nuclear testing like nuclear reactors in Virginia and Mississippi. What could go wrong? Some ir irradiated, uh, some rednecks. That's what they be. Anyways. Alright, so we're moving on very nicely with the tank. I think it's more Hindu lands. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and mop them up. They they don't know what hit them. And we actually sh probably should be maybe building another airbase around here. Just because we could probably help port strike or destroy some more of their naval stuff. Uh, Portugal is still there. That's fine. We got any convoys sinking. German convoy. German convoy. And now they have still 19 divisions here. Oh, we need to take out Singapore. Surprised we haven't done that yet. Actually, we should put some planes down here. Oh, righty tighty. Naval bomber uh, twos, which I'm still not su I'm su kind of surprised we still have naval bomber ones, but regardless. Uh, they probably don't have that too many people here. Uh, too many planes, probably helping them out. Are they done yet deploying? Oh, there they go. Y'all can go home. Can we? I think we can build this up maybe a little bit. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be good. And we can just bomb the hell out of them. Wait, did they did they navally invade? Holy crap. They're naval invading this entire area. That's pretty interesting, actually. Nice. Hungarian divisions, well... You, you done goofed. When you join the Axis, you really done goofed. But you know what? That is up to you. Actually, maybe it's best to wait to navally invade this. Just because we might actually be able to port strike anyone that's actually around here. Oh, if they have any subs that need to retreat and heal up, they might go over to that port. Holy crap! What the heck? 17 destroyers and then a light cruiser? What the heck? Very cool. And then, oh, we lost a destroyer in exchange for 5 destroyers and a light cruiser. Well, you can't win every single battle without ca without a few casualties. Uh, yeah, 27 destroyers is quite a few. 85 in total in this Pacific Patrol fleet. Uh, how are our, uh, new... Task forces. That's a good question to ask, actually. Nice, very nice. Yeah, you guys are still in the States, just kind of hanging out. You are on... Don't be too aggressive, but aggressive enough. And then you are like... The infrastructure sucks, man. We can't do very much about this. And I'm like... Bitch, what you say to me? No, no, no. Uh, let's see. We ha We're winning enough battles, I think. I think just destroying their... Uh, Resources, my god, almost 10,000 planes here. 10,000 heavy fighters. And you can do the entire... Help, especially if we're trying to build up this airbase. Uh, which should be done in some time. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. Let me get rid of you guys. It's fine. And then I do want a few more naval bombers. Very cool. Port strike if you can. And do that, I'll come back to see them. Actually, where are my tanks? I'm going to tell my tanks to stop. Reform. Yeah, the infrastructure sucks around here, but we're going to cut off New Delhi. From everyone else. Are you guys doing much of anything? Oh, Russell Hartle, do you have... No, you're disappointing. Don't be a disappointing American. Are you kidding me? So you guys can stop. You guys can stop as well. I'm going to use my tanks more strategically from here on out. Alright, my tank boys. Tank, tank, tank. And go ahead. Since I don't, I don't want them too many tanks in one area, just because that'll destroy your supplies. Supply, so. 
That is a no good thing. No good thing. All right. Oh, another sub. Another sub. And then another sub. We're sunk. And then we lost another destroyer out of 38 in total. In exchange for nine more. Another destroyer. Another two destroyers. Jesus Christ. What do they have down here? Nice. Surprised Germany has any ships left. Actually, screw it. Just all of you guys, like, come over here or something. If there's holes in the line, whatever, we're going to cut these guys all off. Oh, these Spanish tanks are not doing very well. Mountain Infantry 1. Well, let's go ahead and get some special forces. Nice, another sub lost for the enemy. Oh, and here are ships. Seven light cruisers, four destroyers. Yeah, we definitely need more destroyers. Oh my gosh, that was 20 Spanish convoys. Another French convoy. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yep, not bad, not bad. Uh, drain enemy of the resources, yada, yada, yada. Very good, very good. How's this all looking? Supplies not great. Really isn't that great. Uh, we might as well try to get better radar up here and have a sip of our coffee that I have lying right in front of me. Ah, so someone did ask yesterday. Um, so he wants to play the Democratic United States in the first, I think, first episode of this series. And you didn't know, or at least I probably told you about this. I tried to take out Mexico to make him my puppet, but I, like I think I said in the video, it took me like seven tries to get that actually accomplished. But I ultimately didn't show you it, just because they would always join the Allies. There's an event in 1938, 1938 March, where Na Mexico nationalizes its oil, which is a bunch of bull if you're an American, regardless. Uh, but that does give you a preemptive ability to strike against Mexico and if you wait long enough uh, they will join the allies and thus you'll be at war with Canada if you really want that to happen let's see nine capital ships 20 uh, this Atlantic strike force fleet needs a light cruiser Atlantic strike force fleet. wait task force wait Atlantic strike force fleet oh wait hold on Oh, there it is. It's task Atlantic Strike Force Fleet. Uh, you know what I mean when I'm talking about this crap. Uh, yeah, this is the right one we need to do. So go ahead. We're going to add in quite a few more light destroyers. My gosh, light destroyers? No, that's no light cruisers. Yeah, ships are hard. Well, duh, ships are hard. They're made of steel, metal. Yeah, I'm totally, totally normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Still, oh, 17 divisions, nice. They're again lower. These Germans are starving and dying. Well, uh, oh, we're missing a couple things here. A couple convoys, a couple convoys. Very nice, very, very nice. How is this war? We have passed the Urals in some locations here. Holy cow. Holy smokerinos. Let's see. Oh, and actually, where are most of you guys? You are like all up. Here. You know what? Let's reorganize our line. You guys can all stop as we try to reorganize. So. So we got one massive solid line. Uh, we could probably start from. Oh. Oh god, no. Start from here. No. And work our way up this way. Because since everything behind us is already pretty much perfected. And we still have to get to Europe. That'll be fine. Y'all. Uh. Just don't move right now anyways, whatever. And y'all will come all the way over to here. That should be enough coverage for everyone. And these are just 20 width divisions, even though these guys are pretty green. Because they've lost so much equipment and manpower. We've lost millions of people. This is, like, no joke. Oh, nice. We're seeing a lot of different types of convoys here. Very nice. Very cool. Good job, guys. Great. Great. Oh my god, how many convoys are we actually sinking? Oh look, we got encircled. Typical. Mind. Mm, actually, let's see. I could break further south to help rescue that one division, which should be able to break through by itself. Uh, I'm not probably going to honestly send my tanks this way to help conquer these guys out, but I want this tank to be liberated first before I redeploy them. Actually, go ahead and send the infantry. Y'all. Y'all will be against these guys as a tank, so we'll try to destroy pretty much everyone else. 
Oh wait, did you guys not get orders? Uh, I want y'all like doing something like that. There you go. Just break on out if you can. There you go. Now I want you all to come over here and just wallop everyone. Uh, that wasn't a good move. This is a better move. When you can, just go ahead. Just go ahead and fry them. I don't want them to exploit any sort of hole that may or may not appear as we are rearranging soldiers. Oh, what's this? Two convoys? Any more? Yeah, there's definitely more. Two more convoys? Yeah, how about some more boys? Yeah. Ah, oh, so many boys. Look at this multicultural diversity of convoys. I want to make a joke about the actors being multicultural, but, you know, let's not do that right now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, the Japanese landed in the Raj. Ah, see, what they couldn't do really during World War II, they could do during World War III, you know. Alright, very good. Let y'all go. Put on a little bit more pressure. Let the tanks overrun all these losers. And heavy 1944, heavy whole ship heaviness. Yes, very heavy. Very cool. I want some advanced light batteries, yes, with us having almost like no naval XP. And they are not winning in their battle for Singapore, which is not taking any sort of casualties or supply issues, even though we got naval bombers running day and night to blow them up. Whatever. Anything else? Oh my goodness. Destroyer? Oh. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Light cruiser and three destroyers. Interesting. I would hate to be Germany. I mean, you're losing so many ships. I guess we lost one here, but that's only one. Com and that's an early destroyer hull versus seven 1936 destroyer hulls. So ultimately, not too bad. Uh, and the same thing happened over here, but we didn't lose any destroyers in that battle. And we sunk another five German ships. Jesus Christ, Germany. Where are your capital ships? Actually, I will let you know where I knew of some German capital ships. Once we go through here... Ah, uh, Spanish convoys, German convoys, oh my gosh. Thank God these things actually expire because, Jesus, that's so much dead. Alright, so, uh, last time I checked, for Germany, they actually had a capital fleet. You know, strike force fleet, basically. Uh, they have less than 130 ships now, but they were stationed, like, up here in Russia. They're just hiding their main battle fleet away from me because they actually have no carriers. They've just been building battleships, light cruisers, heavy cruisers, and destroyers, I believe, besides subs. Anything but a carrier and with them up here they're trying to avoid me which I try to put at least one carrier in every single in exchange for seven more we lost another destroyer in exchange for eleven holy cow and then we sunk one of theirs sunk another sub we lost a convoy and yada 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 Germany you can't keep up these losses this is insane how about over here everyone's on split good very good I, uh, oh, they're sinking my convoys. That's not good. I don't mind if y'all repair, since you guys are doing a pretty good job anyways. Oh, you already are repairing. Interesting. Battleship's doing... It's only an early heavy ship hold New York class. Alright. Uh, yeah, more... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Uh, actually, I didn't tell you guys to go... You might be able to go. Oh, look at this. The tanks just do such a freaking good job. Ridiculously good. Just, I love my tanks, man. You gotta love tanks. Medium tanks. We have a minor bonus to tank production, even though we're missing quite a few medium tanks. Uh, let's see. Now, we can put you back on the front lines and really kick some Axis ass. Oh, we got 300 political power. Philippines can be reduced to annexed. Well, I don't really want to annex the Filipinos. I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just I don't see any real point to annex them. Like China. Why would I want to annex China? There's no point. Unless I have a lot of lag, and I don't have a lot of lag right now. I have some, but not a whole bunch. Can I change Robert Tap to someone else? Can I go? Can I go communist now? Would that work? You know, I'm, I'm liberating people from their oppressors. So it sounds like a good time to go communist, right? Totally, absolutely. Democratic reformer. Well. I'm not democratic enough. I'm only 99% democratic. That's obviously not enough. Um, eh, more war propaganda. I don't think I need any more house support. <laughs> Puerto Rico. I'm still not going to give you a state at Puerto Rico. You'll never be a state. Uh, we'll do this. And... Uh, Dakching oil fields. Oh. 
Chromium. Well, chromium sounds pretty good. Nation building. Um. Well, who's actually most democratic? The Philippines might. They've been here the longest. And we'll give them a little more stability and more daily democracy support. Ask it. We'll do all that. Oh, we're losing political power now. Whatever. I don't really care. Political power is basically meaningless almost to me at this point. Two convoys in exchange for a German sub. Sub lost. Uh, what happened here? Another sub lost. Very cool. And two Axis convoys. Or two Axis destroyer sunk. Very good. Very, very good. Improved depth charge. Awesome. Let's see. Naval bombers mine laying. Mine damage. Mine sweeping. Well, I don't even use any of that, but let's do it anyways. Nice. We've almost linked up with the other side of India. Oh, you guys, just go ahead when you can. I don't really give a shit. Yeah, just go ahead. Just when you get down there, eventually. All right. Very nice. How are our ships? Oh, we actually have a battleship. Awesome. A 1940 heavies battleship. Even though I... I currently have to make a really good 1944 heavy ship. Let's see, which one was that? that just Oh, here it is. 1944 heavy ship. Well, oh, 1944 carrier hulls. Interesting. At this point in the game, it's so late, I don't even care about doing this. But let's go ahead and see if I can make a very nice 1944 heavy ship, heavy ship hull A. Wait, what, which one can we upgrade? 1940s heavy ship. Yeah, that's one the one we were looking at earlier. Oh, that's, they pulled it down. Okay, cool. So we already have a 1944 heavy ship hull A. That's, when the one, that's the one we made very slow. Let's try to improve upon that. So it's only 19. That's better. That's definitely better. Uh, I don't think I get any better radar. I think this is like the best we could honestly make. Anti-air. I mean, I think you can get better anti-air upgrades... Some other time? I can't remember. Regardless, whatever. Super Heavy Battleship, 1944. Oh, wait, no. What? No. Get up here. There we go. 1944. Battleship Holes. Yes, sirree. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Oh, I gotta love coffee. Alright. So, since we have another crew here, I might as well add them to the patrol fleet over here. Um... That's a lot of that's a few too many screens for a single fleet. I'm gonna take off a few of these guys. Four and six, that's not bad. They can still do quite a bit of sub detection, sub destroying, as well as do quite a bit of anti air fighting if needed with those light cruisers. You guys, go ahead and join the pride of this fleet here. Do a little bit of patrolling and don't be an idiot. That's all I ask. Just don't be a bunch of idiots. Eighteen, eight ships. That's not much. This. Let's see, we have one capital ship. Capital ship and four screens, even after I sent these guys to repair, which is still fine. You want four screens for every one capital ship, so that's still okay to me. Nice German sub lost. A little naval battles going on here with 12 Japanese destroyers. Nice. They're still using the 1936 destroyers? Come on, guys. Come on. After you nuke Japan twice, you think you, they would... Uh, get rid of their naval armament, their naval fleet, or at least, you know, we'll try to upgrade it to the next one. But Japan, I can't complain about you too much, man. You're doing a great job. Kind of. Are these guys back-talking to you? Are these guys really back-talking to you, telling you that you can't invade? Come on. Yeah, that's the motivation I like to see. Yeah, that's, that's right. I will nuke a random island in the Indian Ocean to prove a point. Wow, these French guys are really just going to die on their island there. Holy cow. Very cool. Uh, India, well, good job, Japan. You're invading that. We have oh, we have linked up barely with our other forces here. Barely, but that's more than fine. Oh, we have definitely secured up with our other forces. That's great. They cannot repair. Maurice, I thought I already did this this episode. I guess not. All right, by this time, these guys should be ready to, to rumble. Uh, you guys might actually fight, face some difficulty doing this. But that's alright, you got Dwight Eisenhower on the other side here. Yeah. Kick some butt, guys. Do well. Don't worry about supplies. You got more uh, anti-tank coming. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, nope. 
I mean, scavenger's okay, but that'll give you a lot of equipment that you probably don't even want, so. Uh, let's see, y'all. Edward Brooks. Oh, infantry expert. Yes, sirree. Uh, yes, sir. More infantry expertise would be delightful to have. Attack on the entire front is an interesting move, to say the least. Does anyone need... Yes, we will probably need a little bit more infrastructure across the front. Eh, here's not really worthwhile, but whatever. Oh, the infrastructure is really crappy around some of these areas. Oh, they are trying to attack us, though. Which means you guys should attack these guys. And then you should probably help try to attack these guys. Oh, we actually lost that battle. That's not good. Just keep expanding it at any cost. Let's see, a couple more. Oh! Chile! Chile! The Chileans and the Japanese are the best allies you could ever have in any game. Proven in this single campaign, right? Exactly. And the Japanese still could take that island. God dang it. Uh, actually, where are my tanks at? Tanks? Just... Yeah, just make it down there. I know you're suffering from a loss of supplies. Attrition's really bad. That's alright. We will have more than enough tanks for you in the coming future. Very good, very, very good. What's the manpower like of these countries? Italy, you have almost 2 million, but you're on all adult serve, and Germany is on service by requirement with 4 million. They are actually demobilizing right now, if you think about it. They were at like 10 million, but now they're like 4. That's yeah, good for us, good for us. Fighting in this wasteland. And that's why I really don't focus on this part of the game. It's just, it's just a wasteland. There's no real point to really focus here. But what is the air power like? That's a good question, actually, to ask. Uh, oh, wait, how do you have 2,200? What? Hmm. Oh, these guys are veterans. Shit, man. Holy cow. More, plus 20% air attack, plus 30% agility, minus 20% night operations penalty because they had a veteran. Because they are veterans. Holy crap. It's really great. Eh, he died. Whatever. You didn't see that. Uh. Edward Brooks is... More 12,000 chain lightning planes. Jesus. I love American industries. Just go ahead and be added. Oh, I don't know. Here or something. That should help you guys overall. Should. And I'm going to split these guys up once they're ready to go. Just because if the airbase doesn't have enough, like, space for you, you'll still be able to have at least 100 more wings available. Nice. These guys are going to be crushed easily. Go ahead and move in, boys. It's just a couple German divisions that are not going to make it home. All right. Oh, a couple more Chinese divisions. Sure, guys. What's going on? Yeah, I like Chinese boys. Yeah, go in the water. Splash, splash, splash. Very good. Yeah, the Chileans are doing okay. Not great, but not bad. God dang it. The problem is, though, they invaded an area without... Uh, they're going to get killed, though. That's not good. Do you want to, do you want to add, do, wait, I thought we were improving relations. Oh, we did. Uh, you know what? We're getting zero political power a day. That's okay with me. Just become more democratic, please. Maybe if they can ally with us, then we can help push further and faster across Asia and Europe. Yeah, this is not going super well over here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it on balance, though. That's probably the, for the best. Oh, you definitely need some more radar, though. That'll help you out with information. Especially over here. Better air support. Absolutely, you have to have better air support because without close enough planes, you probably won't be able to do as well. Um, up here, you can't really do very much. Over here, you might as well get a little bit more infrastructure. Push harder because if you win down in here, this will definitely help out in the north as well as the south. Because we're pushed pretty hard in the south, to be honest. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh. So many ships sunk. Holy, holy crap. Oh, advanced light battery. Very nice. Ten German convoys. Yeah, I'll pause it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you already. Uh, let's see. Pressure mines. Very cool. Another Italian destroyer sunk. And then two more, Ital three more Italian screens sunk. Twelve German destroyers sunk. Jesus. An Italian destroyer sunk. Italian destroyer. Well, now we're really destroying a lot of Italian ships. I'm surprised they're still down here. 17. Come on, Japan. You can do better than this. And don't make me send my tanks to Asia. Wait, they're already in Asia. Don't make me send my tanks to Siberia. You're not going to like them. 
you definitely won't like them. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. That's fine. We are advancing down here a little bit, even though the Germans are advancing and potentially trying to cut us off. But I think we'll be okay overall. What are you... Y'all ain't doing anything. Uh, some of you guys can actually do pretty well. Some of you guys cannot. Regardless, uh, yeah, I know it's a waste kind of a, of American lives. But we still have 1.32 million, you know, manpower. We can always go up higher. But that's fine, you know. America, that's a that's a good reason to have... My God, that's a lot of convoys. 23 and a destroyer? Holy crap. It's always good to have a big population that's somewhat capable of fighting. I mean, look at China. Why do we fear China so much? Because they got so many people. They, they don't have the best technology. I mean, they rip off a lot of Western nations like Canada, Canada, Canada and the United States nowadays. But they have a big population, and I would not want to invade China, especially now. I mean, they're not they're not first world by any means. But they're definitely not really third world. No, oh, depends on where you go in China. Oh, thanks, Japan. Thanks for my territory. Thanks. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Let's see. Ooh, better signal companies that I don't even use. Great job, guys. Mountaineers? Sure, because screw it. Why not? Jesus Christ, Germany. I mean, I'm sure you're pumping out a bunch of ships at this time, but... Eh, they haven't really taken any really any losses. I mean, so about up to 127 and 3.3 .3 million manpower, which... They're probably going to have to remobilize before long here to all adult sir, because... We are crushing, or crushing and getting crushed by the German, or Axis forces. Uh, you know, last time I didn't show you um, the casualty rate. Oh, baby. Oh, uh, well, I will show you, hopefully, in just a little bit before we move on. Nice. Oh, we got a little more naval XP. That's always good. Helping out some of our Japanese allies. Ten more destroyers sunk. Jesus Christ, ten more destroyers. Four more destroyers. Two Italian convoys. Italian convoys. Another German destroyer. Jesus. And, oh, there's only four guys here. So the 23 Italian convoys we defeated must have been for a lot of these guys. 1944 cruiser hull. Thank God. We finally figured out how to do that one out. Uh, nice. We're almost done with this entire screen. Uh, yeah, I'll do some carrier close air support that no one ever uses. Very cool. We lost quite a few ships. Or planes, I mean. Uh, Italy reconquered this part, and I really want to finish India right now, but I don't think we'll actually be able to do that. Oh, you guys! All right, you guys have done so well that you don't even have an area to be at. Congrats, guys! You, great, great job, guys! Great job. Go and reorganize yourselves. Uh, oh, you guys have nothing to do either. You are actually sucking up a lot of supply. That's shame on you guys. Shame. So much shame. Oh, nice. A couple more Spanish ships. Uh, send in the tanks. Just tanks. I need you in there. I really, really, really could use you in here. Uh, infrastructure, maybe help out a little bit. And then, oh, looks like a little encirclement. And everyone died. Love it. Let's take this little spot and then we'll call it an episode. Oh, someone came there. All righty then. We could keep doing this for the rest of today, but we will save this for tomorrow, and I will show you the casualty rate eh, pretty much right now, but let's talk about things that have happened. So basically, we've been killing a crap ton of Axis ships, but they aren't really losing that many ships in total. The Germans, okay, I lied. They lost at least 30 ships here. The Spanish have 9 ships left, France has 23, Italy has 9, wow. But regardless, we've done very, very well, and we still have... A ton of ships ourselves. How many have we lost? We've lost 406, 426 in total, but we've sunk so many ships that the digits have started coming below the first digit. That's a lot of ships sunk. Anyways, this is a casualty list, right? We've lost 6.68 million. That's a ton of people lost. That's probably due to mostly land battles in Siberia. I knew this would happen, but that's why we play the United States. Japan's lost over a million. Uh, other than that, Chile's lost 200,000 for being kind of a small country. That's pretty impressive. Or I guess terrible. Whatever. China's lost basically nobody. The Italians have lost one and a half million. The Romanians seven hundred thousand. Turkish Empire half a million. Hungary almost half a million. Germany has lost over eight million, and the of France has lost two point two. With National Spain losing two and a half million. So that is the casualty list. I am sorry I didn't show you guys last time. I don't know and complain, but regardless, 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will, like I said five seconds ago, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.